Hey guys, welcome back to the Artsy Autism Mom Chronicles. Today's Artsy Autism Mom Chronicles is going to be a Black History Month spotlight on this young lady. Isn't she beautiful? Well, if you want to find out who she is, stay tuned after the intro. I'll be right back. Natalie Maria Cole was born on February 6, 1950 in Los Angeles, California. One of five children of Nat King Cole and his beloved wife Maria, Natalie Cole grew up in the Hancock Park section in Los Angeles. The house was filled with music, of the contemporaries of her father, like Ella Fitzgerald and Sarah Vaughan, giving the child an appreciation for the music of these stars, not to mention Elvis Presley and the Beatles, among many others. A singer since she was a tot, Miss Cole made her professional debut at age 11 in a show produced by her father, at LA's famed Griffith Park landmark, the Greek Theater. She was a smash hit and it signaled the beginning of another great recording career in the Cole family. Did you know that Natalie Cole was a member of Delta Sigma Theta? It's true. The daughter of Nat King Cole and former Duke Ellington Orchestra singer Maria Hawkins Ellington pled Delta as a college student. Natalie Cole enrolled in the University of Massachusetts Amherst for college, but then transferred briefly to the University of Southern California where she pledged the Upsilon chapter, the same chapter I was initiated in, of Delta Sigma Theta. After pledging, she transferred back to the University of Massachusetts, where she majored in child psychology and minored in German, graduating in 1972. Natalie Cole's world was suddenly changed forever when she was 15 years old. In February of 1965, her father died of cancer. The tragedy put a strain on Cole's relationship with her mother. Later that same year, her mother moved the family to Massachusetts, where Cole attended Northfield Mount Hermon High School. Although a career in music would be an obvious choice for Cole, she set her sights on something different. So following high school, she enrolled at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, where she majored in psychology. Natalie began performing again over a summer break in Amherst at a venue called The Pub, meeting the writing and producing team of Chuck Jackson and Marvin Yancey in 1975. The duo helped Cole land a deal with Capitol Records and later that year created the album Inseparable. With hits such as This Will Be, the album exploded onto the music scene, earning the young starlet her first two Grammy Awards 
for Best New Artist and Best Female R&B Performance. Natalie Cole's career took flight and throughout the 1970s, she turned out four gold and two platinum records. Her third and first platinum album, Unpredictable, in 1977, donned yet another number one R&B hit, I've Got Love On My Mind. In 1979, Cole was awarded her very own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, both signifying and solidifying her proudness as a performer. Natalie's career hit a low in the early 1980s due to her struggles with drug addiction. Subsequently, parting ways with Capitol Records, she began recording again after a stint in rehab in 1983 and was back on the charts with a mega hit by the mid-80s, Pink Cadillac. In 1991, Cole released the career-defining album for which she is best known, Unforgettable, with Love, her debut album with Electric Records. Unforgettable pays tribute to her father, featuring many beautiful renditions of standards previously recorded by Nat King Cole. The album's breakout single, Unforgettable, features a track dubbed over a previous Nat King Cole recording as to create the sound of a father-daughter duet. The album sold more than 7 million copies and garnered several honors, including the coveted Grammy for Album of the Year. The 90s saw Cole release many other popular albums, including Snowfall on the Sahara and The Magic of Christmas, both released in 1999. An album of holiday standards recorded with the London Symphony Orchestra. Cole also launched her acting career before the end of the decade, appearing on TV series of the time. In 2001, Cole starred as herself in Living for Love, The Natalie Cole Story, a TV movie adaption of her 2000 autobiography, Angel on My Shoulders. The book has been described as an expose of the private struggles that accompany Cole's rise to fame. Also in 2000, Electra released Natalie Cole's Greatest Hits, Volume 1, an album highlighting the singer's career. Cole's 2008 release, Still Unforgettable, was well received, winning the singer yet another Grammy, this time for Best Traditional Pop Vocal Album. In 2008, Cole was diagnosed with hepatitis C, a disease of the liver. She was lucky enough to receive a kidney transplant in 2009 at USC. Natalie Cole died of congestive heart failure on December 31, 2015 in Los Angeles, California. She was 65. She leaves behind a legacy as one of the most celebrated and iconic women in R&B. I'll see you guys the next time. Please follow me on all my social media. And until then, peace and blessings from the West Side.